Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Our team is going to explain it to you the importance of Usufik and Islamic finance. Before that, we're going to introduce you our group member. Table of content. We have introductions, the importance of Usufik, Impact of Osophic and Islamic finance issues, and the last one is conclusion. My friends, Farhain, we're going to explain to you about the introduction. So before we move on to its importance, uh, I'll be explaining on the definitions of Usophic first. So, as we all know, we have learned the meaning of the Usophic. It comes from the Arabic word, which is Takib Idafa, and it is actually combinations of the two words of Uso and Fik. So Uso is basically a plural from the word Aslu or Asal, which means foundation or basis, while Fik means deep understanding about the Quran or the Sunnah. So when defining the term Uso Fik, it can be interpreted in many ways. For example, here uh, in technical meaning, Sheikh Abdul Wahab, defined Usufik as the argumentation of the scholars and their efforts in understanding the rules, as well as their knowledge and the rules to extract the Sharia law. While Prof. Muhammad Abu Zahra, he said that Usufik is the rulings that explain the techniques in extracting the law from the legal evidences related to the actions of the people. While Imam Shafi'i, he defined Usufik as the sources, the methodologies, and the conditions. So sources here would be the Quran and the Sunnah, while methodologies means how the mujtahid, how the people extract the law from the sources, and the conditions mean for the people who extract the law, which is known as the mujtahid. What is Islamic finance? Islamic finance is basically a service that are related to financial services and its developments aim to make people to obey the Sharia law in Islam and um, Islamic finance. They play a role in solving the issues faced by the people in the modern era and they have started during the Prophet's time actually which is at the beginning of the 7th century. For example, the Prophet, he has used the Mudaraba method in trade with Khadija. And the people at that time, they also used to practice the Musharaka and by al Salam. For the importances of Usufik in Islamic finance, I'll be only focusing on the three importance. So the first one would be about uh, Usufik in highlighting the prohibitions of riba, which is usury. And the second one is Usufik in providing the social justice and economic equity. And the last one would be Usufik in prohibiting the any transactions that have elements of Maizir and Karar. So before I proceed on um, explaining how the Usufik is important in the prohibitions of usury, I would like to explain more on the definitions of riba first. So as we all know, riba or usury is known as um, interest. So it comes from the Arabic word, which means growth or increasing or addition to something. So basically, in technical meaning, usury or riba is something that we add more to the original money. We increase the number illegally. So it is mostly done in trading. And as we all know, riba or usury, it is uh, stated as unlawful in Islam. But despite this, there are some people who still misunderstood between riba and trade, claiming that both are the same. But the differences has been mentioned in the Quran and Hadith. For example, in the Quran, that is because they say trade is only like riba, whereas Allah has permitted trade and forbidden riba. In the hadith, every loan that brings benefits to the lender is riba. So basically, Usufik forbade the seller from taking advantage on their customers illegally. That's why Usufik plays a very crucial role in Islamic finance since the prohibitions on riba and share fairness protect people's wealth, property, and promotes consumerism. So the next slide is about the Usufik in providing the social justice and economic equity. So basically, we as a Muslim, we should know that it is our responsibility to make sure that we always practice the Sharia principles in trading to make sure that we uh, deserve and we get the equitable distribution of income and to avoid the conflict or disagreements from happening in the trading. So for example, in the Quran, they have mentioned about... Um, 
the importance of being fair with each other in Islam or in trading. So, for example, or you who have believed when you contract a debt for a specified term, write it down. So, from the verse that I mentioned earlier, it is important that we should be fair with each other, especially when it comes to transactions. With the existence of usofic in finance, the wealth inequality will be wiped out easily and thus creating justice among the people. So the next one, the importance of Usulfik is Usulfik. They highlight the prohibitions of Miser. So on this slide, I'll be focusing on Miser first. So what is Miser? Miser actually comes from the Arabic word also, um, which means the games of chance or gambling. And in technical meaning, Miser is a person who bets all of his properties with hope that he gets more than what he bets, but he fails to acquire them. And then any transactions that involve the elements of miser in them, that, that will be considered as void. So for example, in the Quran, O you who believe intoxicants all kinds of alcoholic drinks and gambling, and al-ansab, al-azlam, arrows for seeking la or decision, are an abomination of shaitan's handiwork. So avoid strictly all that abomination in order that you may be successful. So the next one is on the prohibitions of Gara, which Usulfik highlights the prohibitions of Gara in Islamic finance. So Gara means uncertainty. For example, in terms of its price, the seller did not mention clearly about the prices of the goods to the consumer. So that is considered as Gara. And Gara also implies risk and involves in the act of deceiving other people. For example, they sell the damaged goods to the consumer or transactions that involve uncertainty. So all jurors have agreed that any sales that involve Gara would be considered as unlawful and against Islam. For example, in Hadith, that was narrated by Abu Huraira, the messenger of Allah forbade Hassa transactions, those involve throwing stones and based upon where they land a deal is finalized, and transactions involving ambiguity. Thus, it is undeniable that Usulfik in Islamic finance promotes consumer protection, disallowing people to get cheated by the irresponsible seller, and guarantees transparency in trading. I'm going to explain to you the impact applying Usulfik in Islamic finance. The first one, the strategy to make sure people can identify which one is wrong and which one is right. Uh, the second one, by applying Usulfik in Islamic finance, it helped to gain the pleasure of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, especially in finance. Um, the third one, to solve the problems relating to finance. For example, interest. In some example, money can somehow make people involved with riba or interest which help them to make profit in the wrong way. Not only that, applying Usulfik in Islamic finance also can protect people's wealth and properties. And last one, help in avoid uh, debates between different parties, for example, bank and customer. And there is so many impact also, but we just touch in this one. Next, I'm going to talk about issues faced in Islamic finance. Nowadays, people often ignore the proposal of fiqh when it comes to Islamic finance. This is mainly due to their lack of knowledge on Usulfiq in Islamic finance or simply because of their ignorance. The first problem is lack of knowledge on Usulfiq in Islamic finance. For example, people claim the IBD is involved with interest, which is riba. This is partly because people do not study further on Islamic finance. The solutions for this case, this issue can be handled by encouraging people to ask for further information or clarifications on this. Studying Osofik will definitely help them to differentiate this situation. People who are in charge of the actual transactions should show evidence of the actual transactions that happen. Second case, or the second issue, is people ignoring. For example, some people, even Muslim, tend to do financing recklessly. This resulted in giving out the false information. The solution for this one, people who are responsible in giving fatwa, yani scholars, 
should be more alert and sensitive to these issues. They should emphasize more and offer education more and also fake to the public. And the last one is a conclusion. In conclusion, also fake is an indicator that help people to acknowledge that Islamic finance was not, was not established to burden people, but it is actually carried out for their own goods. Hence, Osofic plays a very crucial role in Islamic finance as they highlight the permissibility and prohibitions of transactions guiding people to follow the right path in Islam. And that's all from us. Hope you guys understand even more on the importance applying usufiq in islamic finance thank you so much assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh